first we have tried to connect your body and mind together. And the breath is the main vehicle for connecting your body and mind. It's like a bridge. Breath is the bridge between body and mind, which helps you to control your mind. So sitting in Gyan Mudra, and for 30 seconds, take a gentle, deep breath. Excellent. Now, sitting in Gyan Mudra, roll your shoulder back, head up, eyes closed. We take a deep breath and chant Om. So why do we chant Om? Om is a group of sound that creates vibration and energy. It's a cosmic, soundless sound. Also, it helps to produce activates your vagus nerve and produce nitric oxide at the same time as well. But the, then one of the lady I saw through the YouTube in USA, English lady, obviously in Christianity or in the churches, they don't like in the school, they don't like me chanting home. So she had a good explanation. The way she said was to activate your, all your chakras for your muladhar, swadhisthan, solar play heart, no, sorry, no, Mula, uh, no, sorry, your solar plex, your heart, your third eye, your throat, your third eye, and the crown chap. First, you make a sound of ah, so you bring it from belly all the way, ah, and then oh, around your mouth, oh, and then mm. So, waking up all the chakras to get the maximum energy from the prana. It's good to know the science of how it works. What you, if you know how it works, body will give you maximum benefit. So a lot of people sound home three times, a lot of people sing five times. I went to one of the yoga training in London where I stayed with one of the close member. He used to sing every morning. He woke me up by the sound of 11 home as well. So really, it's up to you how many often you chant. It's, it's, it doesn't do any harm. It wakes up your all your energy channel. So let's sit in the Gyan Mudra and chant Om for three times. Uh... Uh... Both hands up in there, rub them together at least for 20 seconds. No hurry, trying to heat palm of your hand and then the dust off, cover your face with the cup of your hand, open your eyes between the closed palm of your hand, feel the heat. When the hands cool down to body temperature gently. Massage over your face, back of the neck, your body, arm, and the leg. Excellent. This makes the body in active state to get the maximum benefit of prana. We start first with the how to remove face yoga to increase anti-aging, increase your glow in your face, 
guild of double chin. We work on five things. First, try to increase extra blood flow to your face. The face starts to glow. It helps also to bath through your thyroid gland, balance your hormones. So you won't get any acne or skin problem on your face. Tone up your face muscle. So you will not get wrinkles. Produce more oily substance, which will keep your face shiny, prevent dryness, and get a natural glow. And, and try to get rid of all the toxins around your face through the lymphatic drainage, which goes through, through the face, back of the ear, around the neck, into the drainage channel. This is the whole process. Before we do that, sit in the Gyan Mudra. For 30 seconds, take a gentle deep breathing fire. Jine Marne makes Saas ka Fasla. Excellent. Next, we're going to blow your face like Hanumanji does. Hold it for 10 seconds and gently breathe out. You can do that for three times, but it doesn't matter if you hold it for five seconds or 10 seconds. If you're high blood pressure, don't hold too long. You can do more often within the same time. No problem. Take a deep breath in. Excellent. Well done. Once more. Excellent. And for last time. Excellent. Next, you're going to blow in one side and throw to the other side and keep repeating that for five to ten times. Excellent, well done. Now, get an O with your lips and you suck in. When you suck in, your cheek goes in. And when you blow out, your cheek goes out. That's the whole process. We do it up for 10 times. You're using your lung like a ventilator as well. Very good for your health. Excellent. Next, we're going to suck your lips and check everything inside. No, you're not kissing somebody else. You're kissing yourself. So <laughs> don't stand. Don't think it's funny. You know, just suck yourself and <laughs> I like making better fun. That's life is a very good. <laughs> Excellent. For last time. Excellent. Perfect. Next one is a very important one. Make sure you have a towel next to you. You're going to give somebody a shower if somebody's sitting in front of you. Take a deep breath. We go like a fatfatiya for three times. <clears throat> Again. Even my dog ran away from front. He said, well, what's happening here? What's the, where's the water coming from? <laughs> it's not raining. <laughs> Once more. 
I see, like Jose Leji, good wife, giving husband a towel to clean your mouth up. <laughs> I watch, I'm watching every one of you, don't worry. I'm not messy. My eyes is great. Well, I can see wide angle. I can see a lot of people at the same time. You know? <laughs> so this is completely exercise your face. It sends a blood supply to your face and improve your glow in your face. Very important. Like this clap there, just again, this will help to send blood supply to your face as well. Excellent. Next, we want to remove the toxin in your face through the lymphatic system. To use lymphatic fluids are just under the skin. It's not very deep. So you don't have to press it too hard. Just with the forehand, just gently rub it like that and take it, take it on to the ear, over the ears. And then put your finger like this on the nose. Then run the ear lobe on the top. Then the bottom. Take all the way back to the ear again. Then put the V shape around your ear. Very good for prevention of ringing in your ear bell, bell ringing in your ears. And then around your cheek. You take every then ear back of the neck and then bring it down into the denature. Excellent. Next, we're going to do the tongue exercise. This is also very important to activate the biggest nerve, which is one of the tall, longest nerve system in the body. Goes from the crown chuck right to the muladhar, and it connects to every single organ, from your lung, your heart, your liver, your gallbladder, your pancreas, your spleen, your kidney, and, and it helps to activate the parasympathetic nerve system which is able to relax your body. So when, when your blood, when heart is pumping the blood, blood can go to exact the mind to each organs to energize, give them oxygen, nutrients to promote overall health. But when you activate the sympathetic nerve system, you increase your cortisol and the blood goes more to the hands and the feet for run like a fright to protect yourself. When that happens, there's no enough blood supply to go to the organs. So short time stress is good for you. But if it happens for a long period, it causes disease, gives you, stress is one of the biggest cause of ill health. So really we have to manage that much, much better. So tongue exercise is one of the very good exercise for anything happening to your face. Take your tongue out, what you want to stretch it, and touch your nose. The purpose of that exercise is to try to get the tongue muscle stronger. So the back of the tongue muscle becomes strong as well. So it won't slap at night time when you sleep. So you don't snore as well. And very good for also for sleep apnea as well. And also activates the thoracic gland and helps to get rid of all the problems around your feet. So get your tongue out and hold it for five to 10 seconds. Why, you can't touch your nose? Your nose is not big enough, or, or the tongue is not big enough. Try it, keep it stretching, you'll get there one day. In the, or if you can't get it this life, you get it next life, no problem, but keep trying. <laughs> Excellent, once more. Excellent. Next, you're going to take a tongue out, and sew it right, left, right, left, stretching it. This will activate to make the back of the tongue muscle stronger. I'm gonna to complain to my mom, doll making tongue at me. That's very bad. You shouldn't do that, you know. Jesa killing you, Vesa me. If I show you the tongue, you will show me the tongue, huh? <laughs> It's, this is all part of the yoga. Tongue exercise was a very important part of exercise. 
Excellent. Next one, you take the tongue out, hold it for a few seconds and suck it back in. Excellent, well done. Next, we all have seem to have a problem with double chin as you age as well, even for younger people as well. To get a double chin, you take your neck up forward, breathe in, look up, and take your tongue out and stretch up the way. Excellent. Once more. Excellent. Then go turn right, do the same thing. Like done that. Excellent. Take now, take 30 seconds of deep breath again. Next, how to lift up your workout for your chest. The chest goes forward and multiple muscle group that includes your shoulder, your arms. This will all help you to promote good health. The first one, simple one is you grab your hand like this and try to engage your shoulder, you breathe in. And you breathe out, you go forward without moving your, just your hand and hold it for five to 10 seconds, whatever you can. Excellent. Then breathe in again. Excellent. Next, put Namaste. Put the right hand pressure on the left hand, left hand, the right hand. Just keeping the, you breathe in, hold your breath and put the pressure on it for five to 10 seconds, whatever you can. And relax, breathe out. Once more. Excellent. Now keeping the pressure on, you're going to go up as you breathe in. When you come down, you breathe out for 20 times. One, two. Three. All these exercises you're doing bhastrika as well. Excellent. Simple exercise, very effective in opening up your lung as well. And exercise, all these will prevent frozen shoulder and improve your posture as well. Next, put your both hand there. A lot of people tend to have a chicken wing to get the chicken wing here and also to improve your shoulder, both hand there. People pay thousands of pounds for surgery to get a chicken wing. I'm doing it for free. Do it daily. Sasli, you pajai. And do the opposite. Excellent. Now you breathe in and you breathe out.
I know some of you get tired, just relax your muscle like that. Just get the blood flowing through your shoulder blade and do the opposite. There's three benefits of this. Improve your shoulder pain, knee pain, and you're learning to, come on, come on, see it, love it yourself. Very important. I love myself every morning. That's a sign of a healthy person. Jopne ko pyaar karna sikhiya, wo roj yoga karega, and wo roj wo he'll be swast. He live for hundred years old. Healthy person, very important. Next, put your both hand there. We do a scissor action. Breathe in, and you go there. Breathe out from there. One below. Next time above. That's all process. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Well done. Next, we're going to do the roll like that. Roll the line. Make a dance, you move your dance, like do the whole shoulder as well, and your waist as well. Yet the knee got my head, not stir up, didn't work. And do the reverse. Next one, you want to engage the whole shoulder blade. Take your hand back up. Now we do the reverse. Excellent. Next, you want to do again, 10 seconds for night gentle deep breathing bus ticker. Just now we're working on the upper part of the body. So next, both hands up front now, your finger open your upper hand completely and think of you're going to throttle somebody, but ah. Very good for prevention of arthritis of the finger. Prevention is better than cure. But if you have arthritis of finger, doing this exercise morning and evening will help you to manage your symptom better. Kitna bar karna hai? Soba. I'm just, not for today, but you can do it as often as you want. Karne ka matlab hai. There's no side effect, only benefit. Next one is open your hands and put the thumb in the middle, and make a tight fit. As you can see, I don't count them. I just do it. That's bar or your bar. Between friends, doesn't matter, does it? Next, put your both hands there. Very good for corporal tunnel. Next, put your hand thumb in the middle, make a tight fist, both hands together, at shoulder level, and twist around.
very good for carpal tunnel and tennis elbow. And do the reverse. Next one, very good is put your knuckle together. Don't open your knuckle as you breathe in. When you breathe out, go as far forward without opening the knuckle. Excellent. Next, put your both hands there. But you have to do the jerk. It's very good for tennis elbow and your first shoulder. You have to, ready to breathe in and breathe out. Keep smiling. Muskurayega, the sauce, the essay, a chow jayega. Rekaji, ab di piyase kar raha hai. Jatka diye, jatka dena padta hai. Tabi to fayda karega. Now the other way. Let. Now keeping your hand there, touch in the front, as you breathe in you go up, and breathe out. Very good for prevention of frozen shoulder. If you have it, it will fix it as well. Do the opposite. For females, don't do it too often. We can be told with one of the lady, which is 100 years old in the nursing home. So be careful. No, I'm just, just a joke. I'm just joking. You know, don't, don't take that seriously. <laughs> okay, that's that. Now I've lost the plot now. First, let's put your, <laughs> okay. Put your hand like this, interlock your finger, take it all the way back up, <laughs> breathe in and breathe out behind the ear. One, two, three. 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 Excellent. Now interlock your finger, put the pressure in the back of your head, wait for prevention of spondylitis. Take a deep breath in. Holding your breath, put the pressure on each other for five to 10 seconds, hold it there. And relax, excellent. Once more. <sighs> then do the forehead. <sighs> and once more. Now the right hand and right. <clears throat> Once more. <clears throat> then left hand. <clears throat> Excellent, just on the shoulder again.
Excellent. Now do some neck exercise to make the neck muscles stronger. Breathe in there. As you breathe out, when you look at the ceiling, you breathe in. जी आपने स्पोंडोलाइटिस की एक्सरसाइज बताया हाँ स्पोंडोलाइटिस फायदा करेगा इसमें जो ये किया ना हम वाला ये सब किया ये सब ऑल दिस विल विल प्रिवेंट यू एनी प्रॉब्लम इफ यू डोंट हैव इफ यू हैव स्पोंडोलाइटिस जस्ट बी केयरफुल टू डू इट जेंटली डोंट फोर्स योरसेल्फ विल पेनिंग देन डोंट डू इट एंड I will tell you just like for spine flexion when you're going on a circle, don't go full circle, just go half circle like this. So things like that I'll talk about as we go along. So next we're going to use your head like a pendulum, breathe in, and gently breathe out to side and look at the ceiling. Hold it for a few seconds and then come back up. My father also had a surgery due to spondylitis. And that's when he died after three months after that because of surgery. So spondylitis is happening to all of us. There's three reasons for that. One is the posture. Second is lack of vitamin D3. So we don't absorb the calcium and calcium flows in the blood and gets deposited at the neck and different muscle. And, and all the nerve system gets connected, cemented together. That affects the nerve system. Excellent. Next, you breathe in and look behind your back, breathing out. Everything you have to listen to your body. Your body is your asset. You came with it. Not your family, not your husband, not your wife, not your children. You, you your body is your asset, your liability. You have to look after it on a daily basis. And gently, I said to you, if you have a spondylitis, don't take the neck right on circle. Just take half circle like this. Otherwise, you take nice, gentle, full circle. Breathe in and breathe out. Not too fast, not too slow. Find the, your own pace. And do the reverse. <laughs> Excellent. You managed to exercise the neck point. Now for the shoulder, one of the good exercises also is the eagle pose. Put your both hands in the front. It's part of the eagle pose. And take a right hand, wrap around the left hand like this. It's quite simple. Take it like this, across and there. That will stretch your shoulder, prevention of frozen shoulder as well, and do kapal for 10 seconds. Excellent. Now do the same thing with left hand, right hand right, like that. And do the ten times. Excellent. Next is the Gomu Kasan. It's part of a Gomu Kasan. Take your right hand behind your back like this. And just like this. And this hand goes behind and try to touch the, I can just about touch it no more. Look up and do kapala. If, you, if you're struggling with it, you can use a napkin, a rope with a knot, and sometimes one by so do you know. Excellent. Now do the same thing with left hand behind the back. This is a bit harder, right hand. Okay. Look up. Maybe at least you can 
make the effort, very important. Excellent. Last but not the least, do the namaste behind your back. Put your both hands behind your back. This is very good for your frozen shoulder, prevention of that. You can see somebody showing us the back of your hand that we do excellent. Well done, Banuban. And Tucker as well. Rekhaji is doing showing it back as well. Excellent. I see Naveen Jinnar showing it because he can't hold, he can't do it properly. That's why. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just putting it leg. <laughs> This is very good exercise to get, to get your shoulder up and put it. Excellent, well done. Come back again. So you manage to correct the whole of the posture. Now just to roll back again, just to relax. People who have a high sugar level, or high blood pressure, or need a problem, if you do this exercise daily, I can guarantee you won't get frozen shoulder. As Swami said, prevention is better than cure. Karo yog, raho nirog. Very important. Next, I'm going to work on the your spine. Sp spine needs to be, most of the spines are you're sitting like this, crouching, to spend, bend. So what you have to do is correct it like this, on top of each other. So your back is straight all the time. So one of the best ways to do that is put your hand like this. Take your all the way back up, your hand touching the ear, full extension. Go for the ceiling and do Kapalvati, focusing on your spine for 30 seconds. Excellent, well done. Next one, if you're sitting with some day noise, stretch your leg in the front, just shake them up slightly, get the blood circulated to your feet with a smile. Haste rahi hai, muskurate rahi hai. Aiz bon bai bolte hai, muskurate ho bhai. Isi ka naam jindagi hai, hai ki nahi? Roni chi kon fayda? Koi, koi, wo log aap pa hasa, roi hasenge ulte hai. And relax. Now take your right leg over the left leg, Nice and gentle. And your right hand goes close to your body to keep the spine straight. And left hand comes up like this. You're twisting yourself towards the right side. This way you're exercising all the organs on the left side and you're twisting your spine as well. Again, shake them up, and then you take the left leg over the right leg, and your left hand close to your body, right hand comes across like that, and you twist it towards the left side. Manage to for the spine. Other good exercise for the spine is put your both hand there, you stretch your leg in the front, and you breathe in as you go back. When you breathe out, you stretch to your right leg as much as you can from your hip, not from your waistline. Hold it for a few seconds and then come back up and do not it.
Excellent. Next, to stretch the side muscle, put your right hand on the floor supporting it. And this left hand, you twist around. Go as far back as you can. Supporting with the right hand on the floor, left hand holding it there, stretching the whole side of the muscle. And then come back breathing in and do the same thing with opposite. Excellent. Next, put your hand there and you're twisting sideways. Look right to left. Excellent. Next, I'm going to try to from pivot from your hip, put your both hand there and turn. Excellent. And by doing this, you're making the your your hip waist muscle stronger. So you won't have a lower back pain. Excellent. And people who have lower back pain, this mudra is very important. You make your finger like this, make a tight fist. This is called Merudan Mudra. Just by doing this, what that does is makes your top part of your spine fix and the bottom part is stretched like elastic band. And able to release any pain from the bottom side. So do like this. Breathe in, gently breathe out. You can feel the top feel, bottom bit is stretching like a last thing. But if you breathe in, hold it a few seconds and gently. We've done a lot of exercise for your shoulder and your spine. They both play an important part and some of the asanas you have to do, which we won't have time today, but other day while you're lying on the floor, and your market asana and all these will help you to make your spine stretch. Very important. Next, we want to go, because just now you're also working on to making your lungs stronger, to be more the shoulder and posture is right, lung can expand further. Very important. Put your right hand on your left knee and turn it around like this. I stretch as much as you can, I stretch it and then put your chin down and hold it for. That help you to stretch your muscle around the ribcage so your diaphragm can go down further. And come back, then to the left hand. <clears throat> Next, you put the both hands like this, and you go across. I think if you're sitting on the floor, you have to bend your knee like this and then do it. Then you get more benefit, more, more, more of the leverage. You can't sit with the stuck after you won't get the benefit. You have to sit, fold your leg like this and then put your hand like this. No, fold it, fold it. Don't, don't stretch it. Keep it folding. Keep your leg folded like this and then put your hand there and then stretch it like that. No, no, you, no not in Vajrasan. Just sit down on your bum with the leg folded Leg folded in the front leg. No, like this. No, like this. Up, up the way. Up the way. That's it. Then put the hand and go across like that. That's it. Opening up, open up now. Don't keep it there. That's it. Stretch your uh, ribcage muscle. Very important. Put it in there. Excellent. Well done. 
So we managed to do that. Now left is one of the best exercises for the lung is also, what is it? Laughter. So, so what I'll do is I'll highlight a, for this. Rekha, you seem to be a good laughter, keep the good laughter class. Will you unmute yourself, please, Rekha? I do the laughter class for me, for a couple of minutes to open up your lung. Okay, right, Ho. So we start off with, thank you, Padaji. Start off with, ho, ho, ha, ha, hee, hee. Okay. And then harder and faster. Okay, about 20 times. Excellent. Massage. Massage. This phone is moving. Massage. Massage. And open your lungs and we're going to laugh out loud five times. Laugh at me. I don't mind. Laugh at yourself. No problem. But laugh out loud. Open your lungs. Okay, hands out, inhale. <laughs> and last time you laugh out loud, shake your hands with it. rock our baby so hold one leg in your hand put your hand under the right hand there and clasp your hands together rock your baby rock your baby look at your baby and then you're going to laugh out loud <laughs> jogging <laughs> boost your immune system <laughs> and hug your baby hug your baby excellent and the other leg okay hold it hold it fasten your seat belt nicely let me see everybody holding the baby correctly Yes, rock your baby, rock your baby. Keep on smiling. Opens up the lungs. 